Hello guys, this is Alf from Open Source Channel. Welcome again. This is part two on how to install Motic manually. On the previous videos, I have shown you how to install Motic using Softaculous. This is just a small video to show you how you can do it manually. We're going to install on this domain that I just made up, mauticmanual.local and i'm going to paste now the domain on the new tab so you can actually see it the index page that it comes with uh, cwp of course we don't have any https certificate so here we go so now the next step is to FTP the actual files that I have already downloaded from motic.org. I'm going to remove the index file and I'm going to upload the zip file. To make it easy, rather than upload every single file, it's much, much easier if you just upload the zip file and then decompress such file using a file manager but if you have any issues feel free to decompress the file and upload it the actual folder the content of the folder so once has been done i'm going to disconnect now from the ftp server now I'm going to refresh, so I know the file has been uploaded successfully. I'm going to open the file manager. Next, I'm going to public HTML. I'm going to the manual. That's the folder, and I have uploaded the zip file. So now next step is to decompress the zip file. So I'm going to click on decompress. This also works with cPanel and Plask. So you shouldn't have any problems there. So the files are being decompressed. We're going to wait a little bit longer. It usually takes uh, quite a few extra seconds there. I'm going to leave uh, the zip file. So once the installation has been completed, I go back to the file manager and I'm going to delete the file. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to delete that one. So we will need to set up a database as you can see now the mautic installation is ready there are a few recommendations um because logically i'm using a local domain on a local server some of those if um, recommendation would not apply to me you shouldn't have any problem if you're going to install it on a plesk or cpanel but uh, you know i'm not going to use the ssl so i'm going to uh, of course i'm going to get some recommendation that i need to use with the ssl so don't forget, by the way, you can go to motic.org and you can get any extra help by going to the, the documentations. So you will find all the information required for you to do the installation, just in case you get any issues. On this page, you can also find information how to install plugins and many other add-ons for the Motic. Now we go back to the actual installation page here. And if I go back to the user, I'm going to add the database and I'm going to also to add a user. So I'm going to call it Monio. I'm going to leave it as default. And of course, I'm going to create a new user. I'm going to use the same name, Manual. And I'm going to add the password. It's up to you. You want to write it yourself, or you can actually generate 
you know, um, you know, you can actually generate it if you want to. Usually, generator is much better because it's much stronger. Um, but it's up to you. Make sure you give all the privileges and the resource limits. I'm going to give zero. That means it's unlimited. Once I'm happy, I'm going to press save. So the actual database has been successfully created. So now next step is to go back to the Motic installation page and continue with installation. Now about the time zone, you might want to double check if you get this one here. Um, usually you find that in the PHP. Um, my, let me show you where you can actually find it. Let's go to the settings. Edit php.ini. I'm sure I got London for myself. If that still use it, I don't know if it's a bag or something, but I'm sure it's London. Yeah, it is. It's time zone London, uh, sorry, Europe, London. So that's for me anyway. Okay. So that's, I don't know the reason why uh, it shows up there. I'm not sure. But except that, that's, I don't know. Uh, about the EMAP is extension, it is installed on this web, but it's not enabled. But it shouldn't have a problem because usually, um, as I said, cPanel and Plesk has that already enabled and installed. So anyway, let's go back to the page without any delay. And now I'm going to press next. There we go. Here I'm going to put information about the database, MySQL. Database also is going to be local host. I'm going to add the database password before I lose it. And as you know, just in case you don't remember, you have to go back on manager like me. I don't remember how I saved the so it's yes, it's PF sense manual. I'm sure. Yeah. I thought it was just manual, but it's not. Then it's local host here as well that shows me. There we go. Let's paste that. And the username as well. Yes, I'm going to do the existing tables, the backup as well, and I'm going to press next as well. Is verify now. It's going to take a few seconds. Okay, so now we're going to delete that second. I'm going to add my admin username and the admin password. Also, make sure that is a strong password. Here, I just added admin as a username, but you can actually add anything you really want. Make sure also that the username is quite strong username i'm going to add my email address again it's going to be the local one once done i'm going to press next step there we go now on the first part you were saying how to install it but at the same time i'm going to show you how mautic works a little bit Here I'm going to leave PHP mail and on the first tutorial on part one, I'm going to choose others SMTP. Uh, but just for the installation, this one, just to show you what you want to do, you want to see this one, then you want to go back on the first uh, part and, you know, start from there and see how that really works. Okay, that's everything done. I'm going to log in, add the main and the password. Here we go. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the configuration. And again, you can actually go back on the, uh, on the part one. That's where I'm going to show you everything. And this is where you go on email settings. Here we go. Um, you will see on part one. And I will show you how to use the other one also email server 
So again, uh, now it concludes part two. Don't forget to like, subscribe my videos. And the more you share my videos, the more videos I can do. More views means more tutorials. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.